Morning guys, Automotive Bank here. So today I was down here to pick up the new ride after lots of people had said, you know, they'd love to see another gas Chevy one ton and I was on the bottom, the finish line with that. Um, and a lot of people said they'd like to see an L5P. A lot of people said they would love to see a 430 rear end Godzilla. I decided to go down and get this one. The dealer was uh, doing good on my trade. This thing just got off the truck. And um, it's a pretty sweet truck. And I will admit, I was just about to sign on that line, but you guys, you gotta always go for a, a drive, get a vibe, and see what the truck, if it has any rattles or anything like that. So let's take a look here real quick, guys, at the truck. So it's a 24 trimmer with the 7.3 Godzilla. I don't need this package, but uh, it tows what I want to do. It has Baja leather interior, um, which I like, hit or miss if other people like it. Let's cruise over here. Uh, 3,197 pounds of payload. In addition to that, guys, the tires are rated at I think 3,900 pounds each, so that's good there. This one doesn't have the puck system, so I would have to put that in, and I would love to do a video on that, so that's not a big deal. Let's go take a look at the window sticker. So, a very nice equipped Lariat. Of course, Lariat is the trim I would stop at. I wouldn't go to the Platinum. For 24, they went, oh, I think Limited is now gone. You can see right there that it has everything I want, the tailgate stuff, whatnot. Now the trimmer, you get some uh, some performance stuff for off-roading, but believe it or not, this truck um, doesn't actually sit much higher than the uh, than Kong did with the Z71 and the 20. So these are 18-inch rims. I, I'm not a real big wheel and tire guy. I want the tires and wheels to look good. Uh, again, I traditionally don't go with such an aggressive uh, tire, but the deal that they're willing to make on me, they're gonna take about four grand off this truck. Um, so let's take a look at the rest of the inside. So again, we still got this light colored denim, which in the F-150 it's black. Ford just put it black, make it simple on yourself. We got the B&O, uh, got a good super duty look here. Got the 12 inch, still hate the gauges, but I can live with them. That's the direction that they're, they're staying with. So it's irrelevant what I think. Um, I think they're just a little bit basic, uh, but uh, very nice uh, creature comforts in here, guys. Now, if you watched any of my F-150 videos, this is the carbonized gray. I like this color, no sweat there. We have uh, heated seats back in the second row. We got the really nice uh, Kevlar looking uh, lockable storage box. It is lockable uh, right here with your valet key and or your actual key on the key fob. Um, <clears throat> 430 rear end, so we get the upgraded suspension down there. We have the limited slip front end on it, the trimmer, shocks, etc. chrome tip. Uh, regular uh, incandescent bulbs in there, and they're not LED. On this level, they kind of haze it out, so that way it looks nice and shiny. I think it's an attractive truck. Tailgate steps, side steps, everything like that. Now, guys, we're gonna go for a drive in this, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to stop, I wanted to pop the hood, I wanted to take a look at all of this stuff. Being an F-250 and having the trimmer, it's a little bit heavier duty than the General. And under the hood, we got the uh, 24 uh, 7.3 Godzilla, single battery tray. Um, but looking at the window sticker on it, the little scan barcode one, this engine's most likely made in 23 or even earlier, I don't know. So we hope and pray that we don't have those lifter issues. But when I talk to you guys about making sure you get your new truck, you don't want it to already have character. If it's new, it shouldn't have character, it shouldn't have scratch, it shouldn't have anything like that. I get out, I wanted to take a look at the light signature on this truck and this broke my heart, guys. So see if you guys see something here. So this is the LED. And I'll get I'll flip this around so you don't see ugly bug in it. But we have the two headlights here, LEDs. Now let me flip it around and show you something. Okay, so we have our LEDs. It's gonna blind you a little bit here. We have the lower one and stuff like that. Well, I was looking at the other side, 
and the other side, the headlights out, guys, up here at top. But look closer, look closer. And this is what I've been warned about with Ford quality issues leaving the factory. Look closer, guys. I'm gonna show you this. It's not even the same fucking headlight. What the shit? What quality control? <laughs> Look over here, guys. See the, the actual bar down the middle here with the two indents, two indents here, two separate little light bezels in there, and then this LED. Okay, now come over here and look. This has some other headlight in it. Um, I, I don't even know what to say. Luckily, this one's all fucked up, scratched up here anyway, so I'd be making them do that, but who, who did the quality inspect? And this is what the bummer is with me about Ford, guys, because I want to love the Ford. I like the ergonomics of it. My F-150 is high and tight, no sweat there. But what else did they miss? What, what, what else did they not put in here that's supposed to be in here or put in here that belonged in something else? or whatever. Anyway, let's go for a spin. All right, so here are the gauges I don't like, but if you watch my earlier videos when the 23s were having problems, this was almost down in there, so that was part of the issue. They fixed that. One thing I will give Ford is on these gauges alone, go in any other digital gauge setup, guys, where you have no more analog gauges, and they're, everybody's putting the speedometer on this left side. Does that drive you guys nuts? It drives my wife nuts in her Hyundai. They switch it, you get in the analog version of this, um, say an XLT non-premium, and um, the gauges are both on the same side, but like you get in say a Chevy um, Custom, the speedometer's on the right, you get in a Chevy LT and above, speedometer on the left, does that drive you guys nuts? Um, so again, very, very basic when it comes to that. Um, otherwise, the truck's beautiful. But I do wonder about the dang quality control. How could I have such a great experience with my F-150? I mean, and this is, this is odd. And if you look behind me, guys, look at this trim panel. I mean, it's just hanging off. Like, I, I mean, I get stuff like that can happen. But, dang. So anyway, we're gonna reset the fuel economy here and just take it on a run. Again, I don't romp on these things because whether I buy it or somebody else is gonna buy it, I don't need to know if it has power. The Godzilla's got power. That's that's not the Godzilla's issue. The potential issues with the Godzilla and its uh, reliability, that's the issue with the power. The engine's fantastic. So at the end of the day, we're gonna re reset this and see just kind of on a brief run if the 430s are really going to dip into it. I've heard the guys are getting, um, you know, 11 miles to the gallon, and I got 17 in mine. Keep in mind, mine was a 355 locker, so this has bigger tires. Tires, everything can change the fuel economy. Um, me personally, I'd probably shoot with the 373 locker because that puts you in the right tow ability. But allegedly, they don't have a 24 Ford towing guide out, so. This uh, truck, I have to go off the 23 specs and it's rated right around 18 and a half, 19,000 pounds of towing. So let's reset this fuel economy and we're gonna show you how she's rolling down the road. All right, so of course it says we got low fuel because it just did roll off the truck glare, guys. I cannot prevent, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Colorado, but colder than uh, I like it to be. But, so we're tootling along. And again, I can deal with these gauges, guys. Uh, I am very disappointed that this thing's got two different headlights. And to be honest with you, I came down yesterday while they're closed and I walk around this truck, it was covered in snow. I walked around and took some pictures, sent them to my father-in-law because he loves trucks and cars just like me. And neither one of us noticed that the Farkin headlight is completely different. And I'll tell you this, if you think they stock these big ass headlights that are like probably in excess of a thousand dollars a piece, I would be blown away. But to fix that issue, they would have to order it and then tear the whole new truck apart to put it in. <sighs> now the Chevy is looking more reasonable. I, I'm, I'm just so sad um, about it because 
this truck's the right color, it's right in tier, it's a good deal, and I am not gonna buy this today, even though I cleaned out Captain and um, and brought it down, um, all approved, interest rates blow, but I was gonna do it for the channel. Man, guys, when you go look at anything new, do not sign on the paper. If Even if your heart loves it till the sun doesn't come home, you you got you your your car should be assembled correctly but it definitely shouldn't have character so i i don't even know what to say and what i will tell you is on kong so i don't know if chevy was supposed to collect this before the truck went out of the factory <clears throat> but underneath the back seat when i picked it up i always tell them don't detail it because I, I i have a professional detailing um background and so i will detail it i want to put the stickers on i'll put the the black badges on myself <clears throat> Under the back seat, I found a sheet signed off that was called a quality squeak and rattle test. The guy's signature was on it, so I don't know if it was for me, the consumer, or if it was for, uh, you know, that they were supposed to file it with my truck file, I don't know, but it was signed off. And I will tell you this much, as antiquated as that interior kind of seemed to be versus the small screen and all the other BS, no rattles, no squeaks. Even my F-150's got squeaks and rattles, so. All right, so again, I'm not gonna get on this, guys. I'm a speed limit guy. Um, so if you guys want me to do burnouts and stuff, I'll save that for the professional driver when he comes in and and uh, the car enthusiasts when they do their, um, their videos on the next truck for the channel. And I will say this. The rumble that the uh, this truck has over the Chevy, the Chevy you can't even hear the, the gas engine unless you're really digging into it. This has got a nice American V8 rumble to it, even though I think the engine's made in Canada. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's a good it's a good driving truck. Um, I don't see any other issues other than this uh, this B pillar plastic hanging off and then the headlight. So yeah, I think. You know for three minutes and 2.2 that's not enough information to really gather i know guys have told me in the past just reset it we want to see it do it so i did it uh, yeah so i mean at the end of the day um you know i will say the the bno is really good and they have even a further step up that's not the issue 360 cameras are really good and one thing i like now is Ford's given me the ability in the past they wouldn't allow you to push that button and get camera view so I like that you can check your hitch or do whatever check cargo whatnot um, while you're driving so that that's pretty cool again I can get used to these gauges um, I just feel like they could have done more with the landscape that they had so now that the sun glares off it and I'll apologize guys I don't control the sun glare but uh, I mean they're fine we are dipping down into the 10.6, but again, we've only went three miles. I, I, I think that you're probably gonna be between that 11 mark and hopefully I drive like a grandpa enough that we would be sitting at the 17. Again, in my power boost, I'm used to, to 25, 27. And uh, you know, on the highway at 75, it, it only gets about 22, 23, but um, sometimes even a little less, I guess, if you're not driving in eco mode. But uh, yeah, uh, all in all guys, like I said, uh, love the interior love that don't like parts hanging off a brand new truck that just was quality inspected at the factory don't love um headlights mismatched and i don't like that they're gonna say well we can swap it out we can get a headlight well i know that that's not the issue the problem is is who the hell qc'd this thing i mean you know they were just like oh shoot i forgot to put that extra you know lifter in or i forgot to put the i mean it's just quality control guys and I won't say that it's horrible all the way across board, but you look at um, the F-150s and the Super Duties are not made at the exact same plant. Ford has plants everywhere. So, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. So we will wrap up here in just a second, overall mileage and fuel economy on this short stint. But again, guys, it's not enough data to really even mess with that, uh, but we'll see. One other thing I do want to touch on guys. So the Tremor package itself, along with all the other stuff it comes with, comes with the Raptor style running boards. Now I'm 6'2", so that's not an issue, but bad knees and stuff like that, if I was to buy this pickup, I'm gonna swap those out because they are up against the uh, the rocker panel there, um, obviously to give it ground clearance and off-road ability. 
but shorter people, people with bad knees, people with bad hips, keep that in mind. That will be an extra cost you're going to have to have. Now, guys, if you've made it to the end of this video, we are almost back. Again, it wasn't a long drive, but we're sitting 11.5 miles per gallon over six, roughly six miles. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, you know, it's just not enough data. So I think the 11 mark is probably about right. So for such a heavy pickup, this big of an engine, we don't buy them for fuel economy. I, I'm just telling you guys, but people want to know. So we're going to report what the kind of roughly the fuel economy was. So if you guys want to see more Godzilla content up until we finally add the next truck to the channel, which I thought was going to be today, um, do uh, go down to the search bar, hit the, you know, subscribe, obviously, because that helps the small channel out. Go down in there and search for the general 7.3 Godzilla, whatever you want to do. And um, you'll find some good towing content. Again, that truck, I loved it. I thought it was a good looking pickup. But, uh, you know, we lost the engine and it's not a big deal. Kong really crushed it. And uh, so to add another one of those to the channel, that truck has nothing to prove. Again, here we are, guys. So, guys, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching and check back soon. We'll see what we're adding to the channel next.